Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here today, even as we've been studying God's Word this whole week. And uh, this series, this um, series we've been looking at how God's Word is like an antidote, an antidote that cuts off the effect of something that is toxic, something that is poisonous. And God's Word does exactly that in our lives as believers. So uh, today we're going to look at how God's word acts as an antidote or uh, in God's word we see this instruction that acts as an antidote for uh, lack of clarity. Now, If there is a lack of clarity, meaning lack of uh, um, discernment, if there is a lack of uh, insight and perception, now God's word gives the antidote for that exact thing. Um, Proverbs 29 and verse 18 says that where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but happy is he who keeps the law. So where there is no revelation or clear vision, um, there are no boundaries and there is no focus. So people are free to do what they want and in, at the end, there is, uh, there is no productivity. Right? Another translation, the Passion Translation um, um, renders it like this. It says, where there is no clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. But when you follow the revelation of the Lord, heaven's bliss fills your soul. So that's um, pretty much sums up, you know, the effect or impact of lack of clarity or lack of clear vision, right? Now, what is the antidote for that? Psalm 119 and verse 130 says, the entrance of your words gives light it gives understanding to the simple. The entrance of God's word gives light. It is the opposite of darkness. It is the opposite of uh, ignorance. So God's word illuminates our lives. It's it dispels darkness. It brings clarity. Um, it brings insight. Right? So that's the first thing we see. It gives light. It gives understanding. Secondly, we see in James chapter 1 and verse 5, um, this instruction, verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. So if we lack wisdom, if we lack discernment, insight and perception, all we need to do is to ask God, but here's something, you know, verse 6 says, let him ask in faith with no doubting. So we are called to ask God, we are instructed to go, ask God with no doubting. Ask, we are encouraged to ask him in faith. God is not one who will make fun of our asking, of our prayers. He's not going to hold back anything. And uh, it says, the promise is that it will be given to him. So that's the second thing, to ask God. Thirdly, Proverbs 16 and verse 3 says, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Works, what are our projects, what are our transactions, what are our assignments? The word of God exhorts us to commit it to the Lord. You know, just lay it before God, submit it to God, hand it over to Him, literally, to to articulate that to him. And we see, and your thoughts will be established. So, so our intentions, our plans, everything to do with the thought realm. In the thought realm, if there has been lack of clarity, if there has been fuzziness, if there is a fog, you know, our intentions, our plans, our imaginations, our purposes, our thoughts will be established. And this is a promise from God's word. So as we apply this antidote to lack of clarity, may we experience sharpness in our spirit. May we, are, may we experience the, uh, the, the sharpness in our plans and our intentions. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word, which is so clear. The entrance of your word gives light. Father, we thank you for your word. And uh, even as we ask Lord, you asked us to ask in faith and we will receive that wisdom and clarity. And Lord, your word says that as we commit our activities, our plans, everything to you, 
you will establish our thoughts. We thank you for this truth. We thank you for this promise. May we experience it today and in the days ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.